Hey Messiah and welcome. This is the video that I promised you where I teach you how to download the new app, access your online giving, find the new church directory, and edit your own profile for that directory. This video is going to have two parts. The first part is a further explanation of why Messiah changed their online giving platform in the first place. And the second part of that video is where I'll actually walk you through how to download and do everything. If you would like to skip to that second part, you may do so by jumping ahead to this time in the video. But if you missed that informational session we had on online giving on Sunday, May 9th, and you feel a little blindsided by this whole change, then I would recommend staying where you are and watching the entire video. So without further ado, let's get started. Long, long ago, like many churches, Messiah was once reliant on in-person giving, cash or checks put into an offering plate on Sunday morning. But people stopped carrying around cash and checks as much as they used to, so to keep up with the times, Messiah started to use a program called PushPay so that we could offer an electronic giving option to our congregation. Through PushPay, we were able to have an a text to give feature, which should sound familiar to a lot of you. You could text a keyword into a five digit number, and in doing so, you'd be taken to an online giving form that looked like this. And from that form, you'd be able to sign up um, to give your offerings electronically from your credit or debit card, or even straight from your bank account. We also had an app that looked like this, and this app was really just a way to access a snippet of information that's on our website, but the biggest reason behind having that app was so that members could access their online giving by setting up a profile and managing their giving settings whenever they wanted. But Emily, if we were already using an online giving platform, why do we need to change to a different one? That is a valid question. Recently, Messiah started looking into church management softwares. Softwares such as these would help leadership stay organized and connected and help facilitate clear and consistent communication. Uh, Messiah settled on and started paying for a software called Realm. And the big winning factor of Realm was that they provide their own financial system that works in concert with the management system. So we thought, why use two softwares when you can just use one? Thus, we are transitioning from PushPay to Realm's own financial system called Vanco. And that's the reason why we get to go through this transition together. I hope it clears some things up for everyone, but if you still have questions, I really encourage you to reach out to Pastor Alex or one of our board of directors. These next steps are for if you have already canceled your recurring giving through PushPay. If you haven't done this yet, you need to do so. So pause this video and click on the link up here for our how to cancel reoccurring giving video, or you can find that video online on our website at www.messiahburney.org give. If you've already canceled it, then let's begin by deleting the Messiah app. It looks like this. And I know it's scary to delete apps, but I promise you're not going to need this anymore. So say goodbye, whatever you got to do to delete it. All right. Next, we're going to head over to that email that was sent to us by notifications at onrealmmail.org. 
If you did not receive this email, check your spam folder, maybe it's there. But if you still don't see it, then you should probably contact our office. The email addresses that we sent this email invitation to were from our own records. So if you've recently changed email addresses without updating us, then we may have sent it to the wrong place. Or on the other note, um, if we didn't have an email address for you, then we couldn't send you an invitation. Um, if your spouse received one and you didn't, you should still get your own invitation so that you can have your own account. And you'll see why later in this video. Unfortunately, you will not be able to proceed in this process without that email invitation. So please contact our office as soon as possible. And one last note, for the sake of today's video, I will be operating as a fake Messiah member named Martin Luther, <laughs> which is why, if you've noticed, my email is addressed to Martin, because that's me for this video. So carrying on, I'm going to click on the link under create an account. And at this point, I am totally off script and going through this the first time with all of you. Okay, so it looks like now I'm being prompted to create a password for that email address that the invite was sent to. And I'm assuming then that this email and whatever password I use is what I'm going to have to use to sign into the app once we download it. So I'm going to create a password. Don't look. And then I just confirm that password by typing it in again. And then I check the box that says I'm not a robot because I'm not. And then click register. Now it says please check your email so that I can activate my account. So let me go back to my email. And there we go, Messiah Lutheran Church email verification. Hi, thank you for joining our online community. Before you can sign in, please verify your email to complete your registration. So I'm gonna click that link to verify my email. And then to verify, I have to sign in with the password I just created. Now I have to verify my phone number. And here we go. What is this? This looks like the internet desktop version of our app. So my next step will be to download the app. Real quick note though, when I had to verify my phone number, the phone number I used is the phone number I know is on the um, profile for Martin Luther. It is my personal phone number. So whatever phone number you've already given to the church is the phone number that will be on your profile. If you put in a phone number and it's wrong, please contact the office and we can double check which phone number we have so that you can type in the right one to verify it. Now I'm going to go to my app store to download the app. So the app we look for is called Realm Connect, I believe. R-E-A-L-M Connect. The app itself is blue and it has a little white star in the center. So I'm gonna download that and I'm gonna open it up. When I open it up, I need to sign in with an email and password, which we know because we just set those things up. I'm gonna put in my email, you'll put in yours. Same with the password. Let's see, 
notifications. Connect works best with notifications enabled. We'll only notify you of important things that apply directly to you, like new activity in your groups, replies to your posts, or important notices from your church. That's a little sneak peek of what's to come as of right now. You're not gonna be getting any notifications, um, probably for a, a month or two, but those are things to look forward to. I'm gonna click continue in the top right corner. I will allow Realm Connect to send me push notifications. And now we're in the app. It says, welcome, Martin. <laughs> so you'll immediately notice that there's a lot of different things about this app than we had with our old app. I want you to, to direct your attention to the bottom part of this screen where you have one, two, three, four, five different options to click. We have news, which is what by default we are on right now. We have communications, events, giving, and more. Today, we're going to be focusing on giving and on more. If we go to giving, well, here we have what we came here for. So quick and easy giving. You can give to your church right here. Whether you want to make a one-time donation or schedule a donation to be made in the future, it's never been easier. You can also see a history of all your giving for quick reference. This is very cool. I am a new member as Martin Luther, so I don't have any previous giving. I don't have a history yet. Um, but when I do start making gifts as Martin Luther, they will start to pop up here. For now, I can click that very top button that says make a gift. And it takes me to our online giving form where I can give once or sign up to give multiple times. If we go back to our Realm Connect app, Let's focus on the more button in the very bottom right corner. Here you find groups, profile, directory, serving, church info, settings, the list goes on. Today we're going to be focusing on profile and directory. So if you click that directory button, it pops up our church directory. Now at the time of me filming this, the only people in our directory are those who have been invited, which none of you have been invited yet at the time of me filming. So the only people showing up in my directory at the moment is our staff and an individual named John Brown who is training the staff on how to use this. And then also of course, Martin Luther, my fake profile. So if I click on Let's click on Kelly Mitchell, our office manager. I can see her birthday and the groups that she's a part of because that's the personal information that she has let me see. Um, if I click on Emily Smith, for instance, there's, there's nothing here because Emily Smith has not allowed anyone access to viewing her information. I don't know why. If we go back to the original menu for more, I'm gonna click on profile. This is for Martin Luther's personal profile. It says, help others reach you. Adding personal and contact information makes it easy for others in your church to reach you when they need you. The privacy settings you choose will determine who can see your information when they view your profile. That's an option we've never really had before. If, for instance, I'm okay with people seeing my email and phone number, but not okay with people seeing my physical home address, I can control that, which is cool. All right, Martin Luther, he has his email up there, the phone number. I can add an address. And when I add an address, I can choose the privacy settings of who can see that address. Is it anyone in the church, people in my groups, visible to group leaders, or church staff only? I'm gonna say anyone in the church can see my physical address, and I'm gonna make my Martin Luther's physical address the church. Deets Elkhorn Road. 
it pops up. I'm gonna click that, and there we go. That is Martin Luther's physical address. I hit save. Your homework assignment after you've downloaded this app and kind of sniffed around and, and taken a peek at what is in it, the app, your duty is to look at your personal profile and make sure all of the information is up to date. Make sure we have an, an updated email and phone number and address. You can choose the privacy settings of that, but as long as the staff and leadership at Messiah knows that, we can contact you when we need to. But your biggest job will be to add a photo. So I'm gonna do that now by clicking the little camera with a plus sign button. And I'm going to add a new profile photo from a photo I already have. There he is. I can kind of zoom in, change it a bit, flip it around and apply. And there is Martin Luther. For now, this profile is complete. And if I go back to directory and I click on Martin Luther's profile, I can see all those changes I've already made. And that's all I really want everyone to focus on right now is giving directory and their profile, especially adding a photo of themselves to their profile. The reason I don't want you to mess with anything else is because the leadership at Messiah is still being trained on how to use everything else, from groups to serving to interests to news feeds and, and messaging and all that kind of stuff. Um, the more we learn, the more we'll be able to teach you. And so we will introduce the rest of these features at later points in the year. Um, we just have to wait until we know how to teach you. So for now, do your giving, check out that directory and edit your profile. And I will see you on Sunday. And I look forward to making another video soon on how to use groups and serving and that kind of thing. If you have any questions or need um, further assistance, you can come find me and I'd be happy to help you out.